Welcome to our R programming tutorial. Today, we're tackling a common data manipulation challenge. Our viewer is working with the Weather AUS dataset and needs to convert values in the Rain Tomorrow column from yes to one and no to zero. Let's dive into the specifics. The viewer has attempted to replace yes with one using a simple line of code, but encountered a warning message about invalid factor levels. This is a common hurdle when working with factors in R. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To replace values in the Rain Tomorrow column of the Weather AUS dataset, we first need to understand that this column is likely a factor variable. In R, factors are used to represent categorical data. The warning message you received indicates that R cannot assign new values because yes and no are not recognized as valid levels of the factor. To fix this, we need to convert the factor to character first. Now that we have converted the factor to character, we can replace yes with one and no with zero. Let's write the code for that. The Finally, if you want to convert the rain tomorrow column back to a factor after replacing the values, you can do so. This is optional, but can be useful for analysis. In summary, remember to convert factors to characters before making replacements, and you can convert them back to factors afterward if needed. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To replace values in R, you can use the data.table library. One method is to convert no to zero and yes to one using the ifels function. Alternatively, you can convert the factor levels directly to numeric values with a simple command. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In R, replacing yes with one and no with zero is common, especially for models like logistic regression. The user found a simple solution using the plier library. The user also provides a link to the original solution for further reference. Finally, the user shares the output of their code, showing the transformed values. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.